You know, this is all funny, but this is going to be a horrible stereotype. I can feel it coming on. Like, <laughs> we already saw Thomas, right? This is a Japanese game. We know where this is going. We better get moving. The hospital closes at 2100. Oh, you what mean have we done? 9 p.m.? And wait, the hospital closes? <laughs> Video games, John. <laughs> the hospital fucking closes? What kind of photo town is this? I want my chibi mobile, damn it. Oh, shit. Did I walk too far? Let's stay together, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa, I'm in, like, fucking vest and shit now. Wow, I just pulled out a fucking parka. Sorry, Emily. <laughs> <laughs> Emily is not <laughs> properly dressed for this job. Okay. You gotta turn on the wipers? Oh, you're right. <laughs> what was the, um... Shit. Triangle. There we go. Get the full effect. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, God, no. God, no. <laughs> I'm not doing that. Oh, uh, all right. We gotta get to the hospital before they close. No one, <laughs> no one has ever said that in the history of hospitals. Again, <laughs> the most needless. I guess they wanted to be ready for a uh, town-wide food poisoning. No, no, it's another leftover from the town's prosperous slumber days. Hard to imagine now, though, isn't it? My mother always talked about how energetic this town used to be. Almost like a gold rush, she used to say. Impressive. But the hotter the fever, the faster it cools. And so now what? there's hardly anyone left to use this place. <laughs> Nobody's ever <laughs> said that. I watch my hometown lose uh. Beyond your understanding, I'm sure. Yes, I'm sorry to say that it is. Indeed. And that's why this case is our problem. There really isn't any need for you to get too involved. I like how the men are like, I got their hat, they're hiding in the rain, he's got his poncho on, she's just out there. He doesn't have his, his hood up. That's bothering me. Why bother wearing a poncho if you're not going to have the hood up? Country ham will satisfy a moderate amount of your hunger. Mm. Hello, Sheriff. Who are you? Freckly Fiona. Please introduce yourself as Freckly Fiona. Hi there, Fiona. We're here to see Usha. Do you know where he is? Usha. <laughs> We're here to see Usha. <laughs> yeah. Computer. <laughs> nice to meet you, Mr. FBI agent. The computer room is where our employees share a computer. Very nice to meet you, too. I'm FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. Just call me York. How did you know I was FBI? <laughs> Easy. None of the police in this town wear cologne. That and you were wearing an so FBI poncho when you walked in. Rumor in town. <laughs> the big yellow letters FBI yeah. across your chest. Even in the countryside. So one thing we talked about before the stream. Uh, you loan me your copy of the latest Doom iteration. Right. The 2017 Doom. Yeah. And uh, I believe the, the phrase I used to describe it was offensively inoffensive. Um, Just bland. Paint by num numbers yeah, it's, shooter. It's exactly what you would expect a 2017 version of Doom to be like. Including, you know, 
they, there's that saying there are no original thoughts. There certainly weren't any in Doom. Not in this game. Like, it briefly it teases that it might, but... Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm glad I feel better about, like... Because it got really high reviews. Like, Did it? Yeah, it got raved on. It was on a podcast. Like, oh, it's a really good return to form. This is what Doom should be. This is a good game, you know? And it's just like... When I bounce that hard off of something that has been talked about so positive... It's good to have, like, a second person play it and be like, yeah, it was just... Nothing wrong with it. It's just... It's not well, interesting. Find him. Fiona needs to check her information. No, I don't think so. Does the doctor like playing games by any chance? What do you mean? There's a message on the computer. <laughs> this the girl in the cat outfit. The king passes the rook and meets the bishop. The knight takes a pawn along for the queen. What does that all mean? That means nothing. It's a simple puzzle. Zach, let's take him up on his challenge. You can do this, right? King passes the rook and meets the bishop. Knight takes a pawn to the queen. Is that just the order? Yeah. King, rook, bishop. Knight, on queen. The doctor awaits below with the deceased. I guess maybe it was just to notice that the pieces were on the posters if you didn't know about them. More games. I'm going to get few. I love love these posters for a chess tournament. Pawn. <laughs> Knight. Bishop. Esports. This is not the time to be joking around, Agent Morgan. Dr. Usha is below with the deceased. Dr. Usha. <laughs> <laughs> His nurse, little John, down there with him. Simple. Simple. Then it's time to meet the mischievous architect of this little game. Nah. You got our key for the underground floor. Us is in the underground, John. Of course he is. You know, this is all funny, but this is going to be a horrible stereotype. I can feel it coming on. Like, <laughs> we already saw Thomas, right? This is a Japanese game. We know where this is going. So, if I was a lower floor, where the hell would I be? Chains. <laughs> Usha, sorry to keep you waiting. <laughs> ah, you made it. Let's get started, shall we? Wow, you are a hundred percent correct. <laughs> uh, <laughs> called it, I guess. <laughs> you sure did. Hmm, <laughs> nice to meet you. I don't always want to be this right. This <laughs> hospital. FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. Please call me York. Everyone calls, calls me that. Very well. Agent wow, York. Emily's already over my shit. Yeah. Are you a forensic practitioner? Let's just say I've dealt with corpses what? before. <laughs> <laughs> that really Why, because say, I'm black, you think I'm not from this country? Mm -hmm. Let's just say I've, uh, <laughs> I've dealt with some cold bodies, if you know what I'm saying. I see. Well, it was pretty fun. Oh, I'm glad you liked it. The most tragic thing, however... Not that she's she dead. Unable to speak her story to anyone who could hear her cries. The perpetrator cut out Anna's tongue. Well, I believe she was drugged first to phase her consciousness, and then the killer killed her. Killer did what the killers do and killed her. Traumatized past concerning women. He probably cannot converse with them normally. Cutting out the tongue suggests a very lonely individual. Either that or a truly hardcore sadist. I think, I think Usher, you're, uh, you're projecting maybe a little bit, or... I don't know where this part's coming from. Watching women suffer. Especially when they can't answer back. 
Yeah, have you know, He's have got like you a whole psych this? profile <laughs> yeah. off one body. As she gradually grew cold. A case in Seattle in 1985 was much like... Usher, please, limit your report to your findings as a doctor. Criminal profiling is my job. Yeah, Usher. Wrong, also. Anna died fully, deeply, painfully aware of what was happening to her. But, uh... Tell me, what time did it stop raining on the night Anna was killed? It's just before I went to bed, right after the movie on TV ended, so around 1 a.m. What movie was it? What, you didn't say 0100? London. Uh, directed by John Landis, 1981. So the rain stopped accompanying... Let me give you my theory on Tom and Jerry, everyone. <laughs> George, would you mind if I examined Anna myself? What more do you hope to find? I'm sure I mentioned that I have a personal interest in cases like these. So I can look. Also, game, you fucking didn't invert this part. His age isn't immediately apparent, though he can't be that old. Looks like a trustworthy doctor. Oh, George's oh, yeah. ass right there. <laughs> we can't we can't observe that. Hold on, hold on. Go back down. Go back down. Go back down. Check out his ass. Bam! Thumbnail. <laughs> uh. Just blow that up. <laughs> we'll have to do some advanced lighting technique to get that ass to pop. Is it gonna like <laughs> call me out? She gonna crap in my shoes? Traces of evaporated liquid around the eyes. She must have cried before she was murdered. Oh, really? That's surprising. Times been removed. Look at the edge of the stump. Right, it was giving me another beautiful blonde hair, stunning even in death. She's holding something in her hand, but it was removed about six hours after death. Circular with a relief shaped like a piece mark. Yeah, I can't see that there. Like an L.I. Noir right now. Like it's all starting to come together. The perpetrator stayed with her for at least two hours until it stopped raining. At the estimated time of her death, it was still raining. But you can still see tear marks on her cheeks. That means she was killed under a roof somewhere. Hmm. She was then carried into the woods. How does he do it? Hmm. <clears throat> there, there's one other thing. Her tongue was removed with a very blunt knife. Yikes. In fact, it's more likely it was simply chopped off. Usher, are you a passionate man? I... Well, <laughs> Not particularly, I mean, but I am man enough should the moment call for it. George, how about you? Were you hitting on Usher? Very passionate. <laughs> yes. Especially when it comes to women. But I don't see what that has to do with anything. George, the perpetrator is just like you. He's passionate about women. He's a passionate kisser. This was a kiss of death. Ah, the perpetrator. Bit her tongue out. Off honest tongue. Ah. <laughs> we'll never get a dental print from a wound like this. But this is still a big lead. 
Just need to find somebody who ate tongue recently. <laughs> Seeing tour just came to an end. This case is now under the jurisdiction of the FBI. I'm assuming command. I'll need you to assist me in the investigation. What in the hell do you mean, Agent Morgan? I know I said I was passionate, but you can't think I did this. That's not why I'm assuming command, George. You're a suspect just as much as every other passionate man on Earth. Let me show you something. You're a pretty shitty, uh, doc there to have missed you had a seed or whatever that is in her throat. How many of those baggies do you have, dude? There you go. Amazing, huh? I'm sure you have a lot of questions, but most of the details are top secret. Oh. George, Emily, we should be going. No need to stay here any longer. Okay. I have to sign the release. Just give me a moment. Very well. I'll go on ahead. I can't take it any longer down here. Question is, why are you carrying... Bishop takes the seeds found in dead girls... Takes your queen. ...in your coat pocket like that? Joke. And checkmate. Huh? Oh. My first victory in the Grandmaster ranking. 